Hello again, dear student. In this class, I want to proceed with the, our uh, first project. Uh, so, in the last uh, video, we make a uh, lot of things. We have a, some navigation bar. We have a main photo here with some text. Uh, we have a tab category. We have a footer section that we must create in the future. <laughs> so, now, this video, I want to do something. Uh, first, I want to start with this section because this black and grey text is not for our styling. And another thing, I want to uh, insert here uh, one, another section. It's a services section. So, to do uh, this, uh, I want to I wanna use a bootstrap again. I tell it's that bootstrap is very useful. Uh, and save a lot of time, a lot of work. So I go to the bootstrap.com. Uh, it's right here. And I, I want to show you the base of the bootstrap, the most important. So I go to this section layout, and we have here um, uh, very important um, classes. This is the this is the container class. We, you use this in our project, I think. Uh, I want to see if use or not use this for now. Uh, OK, for now, we will not use it. I will explain how it works. Uh, so this is the container. This is container class. You see it's uh, here is the photo. Here is the code example. Uh, I, I advise you, when you have time, go to the booster.com and read it and uh, try some of the element. It is very, very, very useful and very important because you're going to use it in every project. So there is, here is uh, some main classes uh, for the structure of the website, the container class, uh, container fluid class. Uh, uh, we have here the response, uh, responsive breakpoints. This is when you make a, a responsive website for a lot of uh, uh, devices. Uh, so uh, this is every you're gonna use everything from here. But today I go to get, go here in the grid section, and here is the base of, of the. Um, of the structure of the bootstrap, so you, you you see you see we have here one two three equal columns. Uh, we're gonna use this, uh, but in our case will be four equal columns. So this is the you see here is um, the code example how to make this section. I I wanna explain how how it work first of all. Uh, I will go in the bo in our pot, and here we have navigation bar, main photo, and this is the center center section. So here we will make some space. Uh, we will copy this, put it for now, and we will write uh, our services, you know, and here. I will open this div tag. After this, I will open another div tag. And after this, I open another div tag. So, but here will be one, two, three, four div tag. Okay. Here I will put a class. This is the class container. Okay, I will save, and I want to explain you every of this class, every of this class how it works. So go to the our project, load the page. This is our services section, and here you you don't see anything. But if I click uh, center, you see it is uh, our services uh, heading and. Under it is the container that we make. We make this. Uh, this is the this class container. I just want to show how it works. So to see it, I will put a background here. 
Okay, and some padding. You see, this is a container class. Uh, this uh, in this class uh, we gonna contain our our another HTML element, uh, another Bootstrap uh, classes. So uh, I want to show you how it exactly how it work. Uh, here. I will put another class, and it will be the class will be row. That's me. You, know, you mean you know what's mean row? Uh, this class gonna order the H HTML element in the um, in the container in the in a single row, uh, not in a block. Uh, it will be in the row. Understand? So here I will put another class. Class will be call. Yes, call same. I will copy this and we will put here, we will put here, we will put here. I will save, reload the page, and now I will explain to you. I want to see what happened here. One, two, three, four. Okay. So here, in this. This is the container. It's contain another classes. After this, we have a row, and after this, we have one, two, three, four equal columns. Okay, so I will put some background in the this column. Background. Okay, we we'll put some margin here. Okay, and we will put some padding, maybe 50 p. Whoa. What am I doing? It's one px. So this is the result of our from the bootstrap. You see for how it's easy. It's so easy to work with bootstrap. We, we make a for equal element here. Uh, it's it's just a perfect equal elements. So I explain the bootstrap is very very useful. So uh, here. Uh, you see uh, the page layout here is big. We have a max width. I think it was how how was max width, max width. Okay, so I will make it here the same. Go to the container. Uh, we have max width. 1,100, sorry, we'll make it 1,217, I think. Right, now it's, now I think it, it's equal. I think. Maybe. Okay, I will put it. 1,300 for now. After this, we're going to change this. So this class container, it's coming from the uh, Bootstrap uh, SCSS. Uh, it's similar like our CSS, but to, I want to base uh, some um, some uh, way to uh, style in this class. The easiest, just copy this class, and I will put it in our Project CSS style CSS. I will put here class container uh, and we will put max with attribute 1300. Okay. Okay. So we load the page. Uh, here is our container all classes in the call in this class call sm uh, here i want to put again to pick out bang it oops and login let px let's px Let's make a, let's make a 20x for now. Okay, I will copy this. 
I need these classes. I will get it from the uh, game from the boost app. Uh, call SM. Okay. So I will put here this class is called SM. Call it brackets. We will put this attribute for now. Okay. We'll save. Uh, Inside here, I load the page. Okay, load the page. Now it's uh, it look very cool. Um, I think. Okay, so first of all, this background is black color. I don't like it. I'm gonna use this. Or this it's more. I'm gonna use this for now. After this, we're gonna start uh, styling the the whole website, the whole website. But now I just use some color, uh, similar like here. Um, and you have we have um, uh, we have a container here. But I, uh, it's not, uh, it's not cool. I want to make like a round, okay, like circle. So to do that, is something that I don't show before. I will put another attribute here. This is another HTML attribute. Uh, it's gonna transfer a square in the circle. Uh, so I will gonna use border. Oops, border radius. 100 px, 300 px, okay, 400. Let's make it 300 px for now. It's not exactly like a circle. We're gonna make it, but for now, uh, I will show how to do that. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna get this attribute and put it in our code it's right here so uh, the background is was uh, how is it okay this is the, our background and load the page okay so here i want to put uh, some icon you you remember uh, about uh, font awesome. Um, I will put it. I, will, I go here. But let's make this uh, after this. Uh, I want. Uh, you, first of all, we gonna think uh, what surface, what ser our services will be. Maybe a photography. Uh, photography, another uh, thing, um, I don't know, I have uh, some services here, um, okay, uh, I will gonna use, go to front of some, In the icon section, section uh, photography. Mm, we have an image, so I'm gonna use. Let's use this sim, this icon for now. I will copy and go to our plot, and just we we'll put here and here and here and here. Oops. Here and here. Okay, I will save. Go to our project. The icon is right here. So I can it right here, but it's very very small. I want to make it bigger. Go uh, and tweet. Let's make uh, right here and 
appreciate. Let's make let's start with font size. It's more it's font size I think. Twenty four px Yes. So uh, this is the icon class. This is the icon class, so I will put uh, here font size uh, 48px small 48, 64 maybe. Why not? Let's make it uh, 48 for now, 48px. And let's make some color here. I don't know. I'm gonna use some color, maybe this. Yes, this will be good. Mm, okay. So to to do that, because it now I will put this in our code, this attribute for the icon. Look, go here. I have a lot of variants, a lot of way solution to do that. I can use another class here. I can style just here, or I can use ID. Let's use ID because we don't use it in this project. So I will put here ID. Uh, ID. So let's may, maybe I can I can match. Okay. Um, yes, I can. I will go here. In the style CSS, we will add DS icon icon match curly brackets. So we'll put the attribute right here. Okay, go to here and we we'll put the ID attribute in the for image. Okay, we will save this. And go to the browser. Okay, a lot. So the result is exactly how, how what we want. Uh, everything works perfect. So here, uh, padding is big. Mm. It's, uh, it's too big. It's two hundred. I think. I think you we have a margin here. Let's make it thirty, forty, thirty. Okay. This is too big. Too, too big. Okay. Mm, maybe this. I want just want to style this section. Uh, I think it's okay. 70, 80, 80. It's too big again. Mm. Okay. So, 85. Okay, 85. Now it's a circle with the images here uh, in the center. I want to first of all I want to I want to make this image bigger the circle maybe will be the same or maybe smaller we're gonna style this but another thing uh, that I want to show you when you put this mug in here 80 85 px uh, that's me we we make it in the in, we make it in the in the whole uh, diff tag in, with this class, you know, you understand. So, but I wanted to make it only in left and right. So we have I will remove this one here and uh, we write my again left eight eighty five px and margin right. 85px. Okay, we'll copy this. 
and go to uh, our style CSS. We will remove this. We will put in here the magazine. And after this, we have a padding 50. We must change right here. Okay, save. Reload the project. And the result is uh, perfect for now. Okay. So, in the next video, we're gonna style this section, we're gonna style this section, and we, after this, I think we must style this section, and I think our first page will be almost ready. This is just the basic, the basic thing with the structure, after this, we, we, we must make services, photo, our team must be here, not our team. <laughs> contact us, we're going to make everything for this. But I think when we finish with this section and this section and the footer, uh, I want to learn PHP because we're going to use it about this page, about this section. So we're going to start with the PHP and after this we're going to insert uh, PHP in the, our, in the our code. It will be very interesting. So for now, bye for now and we're gonna see you in the next video. Bye.